All right, trappers, good morning. Uh, this is a Friday morning, uh, day before I pull. Back here, every time, start on the uh, big lake at the crossover, coming from the ditch. Um, nothing in the bucket cubby. That 280, I don't know, it must stink or something, because nothing ever gets caught in it. But again, this one here is four for four. And again, another otter. We like him. He looks like another good size one. But also today, finally, not kind of, it's only been four days, we got the sorriest looking coyote. There he is. And this thing is mangy as mangy can get. He is not in very good shape at all. He don't even care about me, but yeah. I how good that's coming through. But yeah, that is a nasty coyote. Bear skin everywhere. Yeah, pretty deplorable. And putting him down, we're going to be doing him a favor. So we're going to get on that and get that otter pulled up. Get on down the line. All right, Trapper, we're on that, down in that bottom. Go around this curve, kind of an S curve, that bridge where, oh, the last few days I've had a coon and fed him a little moblish. A little side ditch here. I set this up a week ago. It made its first catch, but it's an otter. That's good, but it's still alive. It's in a 330. Apparently it must be flank caught. Um, we'll get it dispatched and get the set remade and get on down the line. Here we are again today. Two otters, no cats. Maybe the today will be the day we break that. Back at the big corner. It looks like the trap at least fired up there. We'll get up there and look at that in a minute. This is a set where we fed the coon yesterday, had both feet in the trap, and uh, one day before that was just like this one, one foot. This guy's trying to hide, but this has turned into be a very good set. It, uh, I think it's set empty at least the first two or three days. I know I caught a, I think a coon and a possum or two, but this is like three days in a row the sucker had a coon in it. We'll get it out of there, and I don't see anything floating up there, but we'll go up there and see if we got anything up there. We are at the crossover. Got all the otter sign, the foothold, and now we caught one otter in there. Can't think of, remember if we got a beaver there or not. Don't remember that part. This side, I know we had a new tree of rat and an otter. Oh no, excuse me, a beaver. I know we had one other coon, the first one, he was still alive, but today, well we got another coon and he is far from alive. 280, just in the crossover. Things are slowing down. Full days tomorrow. I'm ready for it. We'll get on down the line. All right, we were just down around the corner where it just caught the coon on the outflow of this here duck lake yesterday. Uh, I set two 280s in here, one on this path, one on a path. Uh, just past the big bend there. We'll check it here in a bit. But this one connected with a, we're down here again, decent sized coon. So we'll, uh, Get him out of there. Like I say, it's just a path going up, up into the duck lake. I'm hoping for otter, but we'll take a king, save some turkeys. You can get on down the line. All right, Trapper. See one of the bridges I cross over. I got the, this bucket set. Just up to see there. Going down, I got a uh, tags on the duck lake. But that bucket was facing that way when I set it and yesterday. Don't readily see anything, but from the long chain, we'll go up there and see what we got. Give me one of these live things. Oh, I see it now. It's a stinker. Run a lot of them are running. That solid black on the back with a little white on the head and a little white on the tips of their tails. That's like the fifth or sixth one I've got like that. Anyway, we'll get him popped. I'll have to go ahead and get him out of there. Uh, or not reset it, but tomorrow's my pull day, so I want to reset it. So anyway, we'll get him out of there, get it reset, and uh, get on down the line. All right, Shepard, back here. The little levee. Well, 
water broke the dam down there still rolling free nothing's tried to block it up had to redo that set yesterday it all fell in you can see how much it dropped though you remember from yesterday that uh, top stick was in the water the trap was totally underwater so it's went down and today where we had a beaver yesterday it looks like we got a pretty decent otter so far a three otter day and a no beaver day yeah, looks like he's pretty good. Get out of here, get around him. That'll be a big old dog. I never got it off the holder somehow, shape or form. Well, let's just pull it all up. Oh my God, I really can't get that out of there. That was in there. And I got the wire around it. And of course, this is that short wired one anyway. Yeah, bad old dog otter. Get my hook out of there. Those pays to make sure them hooks are free before you get those springs down. That out of there. Well, especially on that sucker. That's a gooder. Oh, um, yeah. Bill. Bill dog out. Got everything jacked up good. chance of rain here in the next little bit it's not supposed to amount to nothing they were giving us a oh depends who you listen to again but anywhere from a inch to inch and a quarter tonight but now they've backed off onto that just got a chance of a little bit coming this afternoon, which is good because I don't really need any rain, especially in pulling sets all day tomorrow. Pulled a few of the out of way ones, out of the way ones today. That's it, that's all it was. Simple channel set. Hopefully, we'll pick up another one, and hopefully, it'll be a dog, and hopefully, it'll be another big old dog. A tick in his ear. Uh, all right, I'll get on down the line, see what else we got. All right, trappers, coming up to this bucket here. You know I'd want to do a live one. Maybe the bucket's cocked a little bit, I don't know, but unfortunately I see movement in the back back there. So we definitely got something. Not quite the live pull up that I wanted, but uh, definitely a catch. Now the bucket hasn't been moved hardly at all, that's why. This is one I just put back yesterday. I pulled it from a different location up that way. This bucket and another one I had down there all floated away somewhere. I could not find them. There's only two I could not find. But I don't see any vegetation in here. But this water in here was crazy deep. Now I'll go ahead and get this off my head here. A little ac more accurate on my filming when I'm not wearing it. But anyway, he's hiding right back here. Big cat, real big cat. Looks like he's got some good spots for, but yeah, for down here and a little sippy. Well, that's a pretty good sized cat. 
His name's apparently Billy. Pretty good, Tom. I'm assuming, being that big. Again, same old empty bucket cubby. A little fire. Had it right there. That's why I didn't think I had anything because that's how much he moved it. <laughs> that was it. One with the uh, grapple on it, the hook on it, wrapped around the tree so they can't go nowhere. But that gets them away from the bucket so they ain't tearing stuff up. That's good, solid catch on that number three. Yeah. We'll get him out of there. Get on down the line. All right, trappers, we are down here in the land that time forgot. And we finally got a beaver. First one out of this exact location down the ditch of 100 yards. I uh, got two, but this is actually the first one that I would say, I mean, the dam's right there. This is just the uh, crossover from the dam. And it actually runs right around the corner to another secondary dam. And underneath that big log right there, I uh, have another 330, and I broke that secondary dam out. So I'm figuring that guy was heading down there to do some repairs and didn't make it. Anyway, we'll get him out of there. It was actually set right up there under the log. You can see my holders there. Yeah, good set, easy, simple set. Now this went down a lot. The water was totally up to the bottom of that log. You can you see the bottom of that log until I kicked that dam out down there? But it got them moving, and that's what I needed. And then I have, as of yesterday, two days left. Now I got one day left. So we'll get him out of there, get it remade. And I got another set up on the corner of the dam over this way. And we'll go see if it's got anything. Get on down the line. All right, Trevor. Uh, so ends Friday, the day before I pull. Not a bad day, all in all. Um, I did old mangy coyote this morning. I got to look at my sheet i write down the catch at noon and then what i have now to add it up but anyway i know combined with the uh, coons uh, the possum and the skunk that there's 10 12 of them anyway so that helped and then i got the three otter this is the big old boy we just caught off that uh, uh drive down along the edge of that slough one's from this morning and then the big old baver that's nice to see Hoping to get them out of there. But you know what? Today was the day. I broke my dry spell. As far as catching either otters or bobcats, but never both. And the first day that I uh, caught both. So, again, puny bobcats in comparison to ours. But uh, we'll take him and glad to have him. So we'll uh, get these guys taken care of and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.